So you might be trying to figure out how you can go ahead and screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy A14. Now doing this is actually very basic. It really doesn't take too much time. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and take a look at the right side of your specific phone. So when you do that, you will see a few little buttons. You'll see this power button right here, and you will see this down button, the volume down button right here. All we're going to want to do is basically click. We don't want to hold. We want to click both the power button and the volume down button at the same time, at basically at the same time. So make sure your phone is on, and you want to go ahead then, click both these buttons, and you will see that your phone will go ahead and take a screenshot. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate it to the front display right here, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the display brightness as well. So I'm going to click those two buttons at the same time. So the power down button and the volume down button, just click them, and that is how the screenshot is taken. Now the screenshots are basically saved into your gallery application. So if we go and open up our gallery right here, we can go and click right here. What will happen is you will basically see all of the specific screenshots that you took right here. And from here, what you can do is you can go and you know, share the screenshot. You can go and edit it. You can do a lot of stuff. So if you want to hard it, you can hard it and it will basically just save into your you know, liked photos. You can click edit and you can go and edit up this photo if you want to. There's a lot of different options here, which is pretty wild. In One UI, there are tons of things you can kind of modify. You can change the you know, thing of, you can rotate it. You can do all sorts of stuff if you want to. You can do like a more portrait mode kind of thing. You can rotate it like this. So you have a few different options here. Most of the time, I would probably not do that, to be honest. You can delete this photo and you can go and click on the three dots. You can get the details of this photo. You can copy it you know, to your uh, clipboard. You can go ahead and set as wallpaper and you can print this specific photo out as well. So. That is pretty much how to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.